it's me. If I sound a little weird today, just know that I caught a cold. I'm sick. So right before my trip, I pre-recorded a couple of videos, and then I got home, and I got sick, and I don't have any more videos. But you know, we gotta do these daily uploads, gotta keep up with them, no matter what. So I took hella cough syrup, medicine, everything. I beat my face to the point where I could pass off as normal. <coughs> Anyways, today we're gonna be checking out some people who quit their job in the most epic way ever. All right, this guy works at Sears and wanted to quit his job with style. All right, about to quit my job at Sears in uh, the most creative way I've, I've ever quit a job. Working here at Sears, I just got treated like all the time and in this case I have found another job. Okay see that's the way to do it. If you're gonna quit your job make sure you have another job lined up as long as you don't need like a letter of recommendation or whatever from your current employer you can basically do whatever the heck you want. You see I'm a strong believer in revenge. Get them back for all the times they've done you dirty. Attention Sears managers Kevin, Don, and Zachary. I quit. I'm done. I just can't take it anymore. Your lack of hours and pay are making me poor. I'm about to walk right out that door, but not before I heal you all over the floor. That's right, that's me, Ryan. Signing off for Sears, I'm gone. Peace out, y'all. Mic drop, let's go home. Did he say he was gonna Healy all over the floor? But not before I Healy all over the floor. Healy's, do they make those for adults? You know those shoes with the wheel? My little brother used to have those. I was hella jealous. Cause they didn't make them in my size. You just like go like this and like basically like out of there. And then hit the dab and quit like was Khalifa. <laughs> He's so nervous. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just got out of the PA. Was like, I'm quitting. Are you? That felt so good. Are you out? Yeah. I can take this off. We're done. I'm done. He's so out of breath. This is like Metal Gear. You gotta leave before they come for you. You just alerted the whole store. <laughs> All the managers, they better come for you. You better run. Oh, there the Heelys go. See, he about to skirt out of there. There's the door. Is Don over here? Where's Don? I think she's on lunch. No! Where's Zachary? Uh, he just left or something. Are you me? Hold up, I gotta rub it in somebody's faces before I leave, so... Should I clock out? Before I fire you, yes. Oh, I'm gonna quit. I'm done. Did you just hear that? Leave the store. No. Okay, alright. You're not welcome in Sears anymore. Dang it! Oh no, and it was at that moment in time that Sears went bankrupt. Stocks dropped to zero. What will we do? Oh no, I'm not welcome back in Sears anymore. What am I gonna do with my life? Where else can I buy my clothes? And get a washing machine at the same time. Nowhere. I mean, what can you expect with zero and four hours? I mean, I worked eight hours the last month. How do you expect me to pay bills with working eight hours in a month? What What, what is that, honestly? I <laughs> like I was just healing with a camera on his chest and all you see is the final boss walking towards him. <laughs> And he's just like, what do you expect? How am I supposed to live like this? You better heal it faster out of there. What are you doing? I'm quitting, but with fashion. This is unprofessional. Maybe a little bit, but in, in, in a prankster way that I am. Did you not hear everyone laugh? Everyone got a kick out of that, even Hunter. Come on. He didn't want to get fired. It's okay. <laughs> Dude, you just gotta be professional. My boss walking through. Just I can't laugh. I can't make eye contact with a hooligan that just quit over the PA system. Also, where are the customers? There's literally nobody in the store except like a handful of employees. Even you got a little kick out. You're just. I mean, I feel it. I mean, I just. Uh, I understand. But I mean, come on. Like honestly, my my schedule for this week was four hours. Your hours. Forty dollars in two weeks on your performance. Okay, my performance here is amazing. You can ask the employee who just sought me out to hire me. You can go work for them. I'm going to, and I cannot wait. The job that I actually will enjoy and not get ditched at for wearing shoes. <laughs> so they give him a hard time for wearing Heelys. A grown ass man, he got a wedding ring on, he's married and wearing Heelys. Okay, you know, respect. I was really hoping Kevin would be here to hear that because he was the one who said, I will fire you the next time you wear your Heelys in here. So Kevin doesn't even have to because I already quit on his ass and you can tell him all about it because I know he's just gonna love it. <laughs> See ya. All over his Heelys. Now he can Heely on out of here. Heely through the parking lot to his car. That felt awesome. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. I mean, come on. You work at Sears. You get paid minimum wage. And they're not even gonna 
grandma you wear heelys? Why? Probably because you flex it a little too hard. Are those wheels in your shoe? Whoa there, sir. I'm gonna have to ask you to tone it down. But anyways, after this guy quit, Sears that went bankrupt in 2018. He did it. The dude with the heelys did it. He just really scared it out of Sears in heelys. <laughs> and that's how mafia works. But yeah, for real, in real life, Sears out of business. Sears went bankrupt. I blame this dude. All right, I've worked in this hotel, the Providence Renaissance, for three and a half years. They treat us like here, and I'm going to go in and quit right now with the help of my bandmates in the What Cheer Brigade. <laughs> okay, so my guy over here is in a band, and he's worked at this hotel. Today I'm just calling him out and everything. There goes any future sponsorships. Damn, he really does got a whole band. <laughs> On the wall, there's a sign that says, this department has worked three days without a lost time accident. Wow, three days? Insane. Y'all deserve a vacation. What the hell is this? So some of his colleagues, the people he works with, came up and saw what he was plotting. Like, what are you doing? Just hold on, we gonna put on a big show for you. Guys, what is this? Guys, all of you, out right now. Jared, I'm here to tell you that I'm quitting. No arguing, no why am I quitting? Here's my letter of resignation. The whole band starts playing, everybody started clapping. Get you some supportive friends like these. Nice, congratulations. I feel like if anybody is gonna quit a horrible job, you gotta do it in a way like this. You gotta make it big, something to remember. And always, always make sure you record it. Like you're leaving the job, you literally do whatever you want. Well, not really whatever you want, but <laughs> you know, as long as it doesn't get you arrested, nobody gets hurt. If you want to stand up on top of the counters and chug a Diet Coke, you go ahead and do it. All right, this one is wild. This guy works as customer service for a phone company. And he Snapchatted all of it. I'm gonna get my check and be out. This is my last day. I'm having a hard time hearing you, sir. Uh, I, maybe it's the orbital circumference of the satellite post from Mars. That's not, we're not gonna. So he's just basically messing with customers who call the customer service number. <laughs> Thank you for calling Verizon Wireless. My name is Johnny. How can I help you out today? Hey, you're calling T-Mobile Services. How can I assist you today? Uh, hello? Caller, are you there? <laughs> he don't even work for Verizon. And it's like, hello, sir, you're calling Verizon. What's up? The boys on the other line like, what? Where am I? Thanks for calling AT&T. What do you want? Uh, yes, hi. I was calling to see um, how much it would uh, be. I don't care. <laughs> okay, hold up. Uh, let me go ahead and transfer you over to someone who actually gives a f***. So, is that right with you? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine call a customer service. Hold up. Let me transfer you to someone who give a fuck. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm okay with this. <laughs> wow, so this dude didn't even get caught the whole day. He just trolled customers calling in and nobody's gonna snitch on him. Everybody's cool. And then he just never gonna come to work again. <laughs> Something I would do. See, the only time I ever quit a job, I kind of ghosted them. I know I've told the story like a million times. But basically, my manager told me to go home. And I thought I was fired. And I was just so embarrassed. I didn't want to go back to work. So I just never went back to work. And then my manager called me and he was like, so do you want to work this week or not? Nah? And I was like, uh, I thought you fired me. And he was like, nah, I never fired you. And I was like, oh. And I never went back there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one we got this girl over here working out. I don't know, it's like BuzzFeed or whatever. Ah! Whoa there. I don't know about you guys. I love carbonated drinks, but sometimes they're a little too much for me and I can't handle them. And when I take a big enough gulp, it's just really spicy and it makes my eyes water and my nose runny. Ugh. Okay, collect yourself. Okay, it's 4 a.m. and I'm at work. What do you do at 4 a.m. at work in an office? Either you stayed there all night or you there hella early. But she went early so she could record a video. I work for an awesome company that produces news videos. 
So, the equivalent of BuzzFeed, basically. For almost two years, I've sacrificed my relationships, time, energy for this job. Okay, so, like, BuzzFeed. And my boss only cares about quantity and how many views each video gets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this was the original I quit for BuzzFeed video. Except it wasn't actually BuzzFeed. Or was it? I don't know. She a little too nice. I mean, she could have exposed them. But I always wondered. I'm like, people that work for like BuzzFeed and those kind of companies, they do a lot. I mean, it's basically like bringing in somebody who enjoys making videos. And that could be making videos themselves. But they're just going to be making videos for a company. And making the company a ton of money. And they only get a small percentage of that. That's why everybody starts out on BuzzFeed. And then they just quit and then they make their own channel and cash the f out gotta put some respect on it though dancing on Janice's desk oh no you absolute hooligan how dare you to focus on the content instead of worrying about the views oh and to let my boss know dance break I quit Imagine if she just did Fortnite dances in all of these clips. How epic would that be? <laughs> like that would have been the equivalent of taking a big fat steamy sh on her boss's desk. On everybody who works there's desk. Her entire company stock would have dropped to zero. But no, she had to do the I don't even know what she doing. What kind of dance even is this? You know, there are dances that you could do to disrespect your enemy. And there are dances that disrespect yourself. <laughs> All I'm seeing here, she disrespected herself. She got busted out the orange justice. No, disappointed. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button the face. Comment below, have you ever quit your job? Or if you ever have to quit your job, would you do this? And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.